Now I'm going to be cutting a very small detailed piece that's going on my trim at the end to the opening of my custom niche accessory shelf that I've been showing and uh, <clears throat> I will show you how I accomplish that after I get this piece cut. So this will be the first piece. All right. This is what the tile guys don't show you. Best kept secret to how to go about doing this. You want to save the pencil line if you can. But I'm going to check, and you see how the inside here, it's kind of at an angle in here. We want that smoothed out to be straight, all right? I'm going to straighten that out. Now let's check it. Okay. Now this is a test piece, but if it works, then I'm going to go with it. All right. Here's here's the trim. My test. This is going to tell me where I'm at. All right. Let's put it on here. Let's see how well it fits. All right. Now I see I got to open that up a little more for that to fit because it's going to fit right down in here. All right. This way. All right. And that's where it's going to fit, just like that. Now this tells me what I need to do, all right? See this bottom corner right here? I've got to take it off some right in here for it to fit, all right? Because if I come down here, you'll be able to see where it needs adjusting, all right? So let's do it. Okay. 
and this little tip here may, this little tip right here may be what's in the way. I wasn't seeing it right here. Let's clear that out and see what happens. It may have been where it was at. Let's see. Alright. Now. Where are we at? Okay. Now. Is that going to fit in there? Okay. That's looking pretty good, actually. But I still have to clear this out. Now, I want to point out it don't look like much, but it makes a big difference. The space that I have from the outer edge to the pencil line is what's stopping it now. That needs to be nice and smooth in there, okay? So you really got to take your time and get that smoothed out, all right? Get it more concaved. And closer to this pencil line in here at this point. You gotta take your time, you'll mess it up. This, this will break. Little pressure. I kicked the camera. Alright. may just do the trick. All right, let's first check. Is that smoothed out? Yeah, that's nice and smoothed out. It's right there at that pencil line. Okay, see how smooth it is. Let's see how it's going to go. All right. There it is. Okay, so based on that, okay, I could run with that. But I see where I've got to clean this out, right? At this point here, a little, a little more in this area right here. All right, we'll be good. So I say you've got to take your time. This this could break. Look look how thin. Look how thin this is getting right here. Alright. The neck right there at the end of it. So I gotta really be careful. Light, light pressure. And you want it square with the blade. Remember, always take the time to do it right. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see how this is going to fall into place. Is it going to work? Let's see. Bam. All right, I think that's good enough. All right. But it looks like, all right, now based on what I'm seeing now, I'm going to have to take it in a little bit more. You keep this square with the blade. Don't twist it. 
All right, keep it straight. Let it square cut to nice smooth. All right, so you avoid those lumps, the humps, and angles, no angles. Okay, let's see. All right, there we go. All right, I think that's going to work. That will work. It's not perfect, but it's but it's acceptable. Okay. That is acceptable. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the, Let's see if I can't hold this and mark it where I'm going to cut it to show you. All right. I'm going to cut this. at this point right here where it's touching right here where it touches it's called the tangent point if this was staircases all right right where it touches right before it runs off that's where i'm going to cut then we'll fit it in there Now I can work on that a little bit more, okay, but that's not ugly, And um, but I am going to shape it a little bit more, all right? So I'm going to pause this, maybe I'll, no, I'll just leave it, that way for those that want to see how I'm going to do this, those that don't can fast forward, how's that? Look, you touch the blade. You're okay with this only, only I stress, only with a diamond blade, a smooth diamond blade. No notches in it. This is where good eyesight is required. this going to work? How's it going to look? Okay. Now it looks like I need to take some off of the tip. See where that tip is interfering where it's touching right here. All right, I'm going to have to round that. And again, I'm leaving this on. For those that want to know and want to see how this works out. I'm going to pull it to me as I shape it. I'm just kind of turning, turning my hand on it very slightly. and very light pressure. Okay, let's check. Bam. 
Again, this was a test piece, so I'm going to have to make another one, although that doesn't look so terrible, but it doesn't finish it off, all right? So I'm going to have to do another test piece. By the time I get to my third one, I should be good. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, there we go. There we go, right there. Blends right in. Bam. Get this tape out of the way. All right, look at that. Nice. That's only my second one, not my third one. I'm going to clean up that up just a hair, and we'll be good. All right. Now, I'm going to make that a little smoother on the inside. It's what I'm showing you, all right? Got to get that smoothed out. So you got to just finesse it. Barely, barely work it, light pressure, and pay close attention. to run with that it's not perfect but it's too easy to do more to do damage and that'll be fine all right it's one down one to go